Hey everyone, it's Megan here. Just going over how to use more hips in the golf swing. I had a great question from one of my Twitter followers, Damien, thanks for asking about this. Um, but he was interested in finding out how his son can get a little bit more lower body into the golf swing. Um, it seems like he sent me some video and it seems like the lower bodies are is just a little uh, late in the golf swing. So what we're going to do is give you a couple tips to activate that. Um, I wasn't actually able to get access into the gym, so I'm just going to show you some things that you can do at your own home. Uh, but there's really three different areas we're going to look at here. The first is going to be how to work on separation of the upper and lower body. So that's really the ability for the upper body to work and coil on top of the lower body creating a lot of power and energy in the golf swing. So we actually need to work that out uh, separately as much as we possibly can. So I'm gonna start by showing you a couple drills for that. And then the second thing is we're gonna talk about some drills for building skills in your golf swing. So that's gonna be some drills to use uh, the lower body for. And then uh, the last thing is going to be how we're going to talk about how I actually don't want you to tell your son or any of the junior golfers to stay down or keep their head down because that's a, a big myth in golf and can really prevent them from using their lower body correctly. So the first drill is going to be a separation drill. Um, I would suggest going to find a TPI, a TPI expert. Um, I'm certified in TPI, but you can actually uh, go on their website and they have a, a great resource of drills on there. So definitely look up Titleist Performance Institute and that's where I got these drills. So the first thing is going to be a, a stork turn. So it's a really easy drill. I hope the camera's okay here. I might need to make an adjustment, but. Okay, so for the stork turn, you can just stand there and, and maybe hold a golf club, but basically you wanna try to separate the lower from the upper body. So you wanna try to be pretty still here and try to just move your lower body separately. So that's a drill that you can have uh, your son Callum doing when he's at home. And uh, Damien, feel free, if you have any questions, just go ahead and type me any questions. It might be hard for me to see right now, but uh, this is called a stork turn. The next one, this one's gonna be really challenging for me to show you here. Um, here we go, all right. This is going to be like called open book, close book. So if you just do the upper body staying here on the ground, then the lower body's turning. Okay, that, that creates a separation. Um, one thing that's really important for golfers to do is, is actually skipping. So skipping creates a separation between the upper and lower body, um, and it definitely will help with separation. The next one, you know, this is the open book, closed book, so separating the upper and lower body, okay? So these kind of drills are ones that, exercises that I want Callum doing to just separate the upper and lower body. I mean, it's really anything having the upper body go one direction and the lower body go the other way. Those will really be helpful in creating separation. But I suggest that you watch him skip and see if he's able to really separate the coordination of the arms and the legs going at different times. All right, the next are going to be drills that I want you to use to build skills. Okay, so if I had a med ball here, I was gonna grab one in the gym over there, but uh, if I had a med ball, I'd basically just hold the med ball and just toss it to another friend. So you can toss the med ball, and you can actually do that pretty hard you can work on bouncing the med ball, just anything that will generate the similar motion of rotating through the golf swing. Okay, so that, that would be one. Another one would be an in-swing drill. Okay, so I'm gonna use the selfie stick here to show you that this is a great drill. It's called the step shift drill. Swing to the top, step, and then shift through. So you're working on the kinematic sequence and the separation. So you're, you're really emphasizing that step before you take a shift. So you get in the golf setup with feet together, swing to the top, step. And now this shift is really showing Callum that the shift starts the downswing. So 
Some people, when they do this, you see them automatically wanting to come down with their arms. Let's really make sure that we hesitate that step, shift, and then the arms are able to come down. So that's an important drill. Uh, and then the next one will be just another way shift drill will be um, when you do a walk through. Okay, so have him hit his golf shot and then walk through. But there's some, uh, there's some other good drills that you could be doing. Just like one thing that I don't think parents do enough with their kids is have them hit shots and hit it as hard as they can. Sorry. When I start swinging my extra long, oh great, that's awesome. <laughs> Thanks for that. Um, sorry, I'm having a hard time reading any questions, but uh, okay, so what I wanted to get back to is that um, when, when you're working on Callum's swing here, let's remember that you want him to hit it as hard as you can, okay? Have him hitting shots hard because I think he said he's eight years old. Right now is the time where he needs to develop some speed in his golf swing. And you don't want to do that by telling him to keep his head down or stay down. So that's the third thing that I wanted to tell you about is that for slower hips, it's important for somebody to have more vertical action in their golf swing. So that means that for him to release the club correctly, he needs to actually be pushing off of the ground. And it looked like in the swing that you had sent me that he wasn't really using the ground as much as he should be. So I want you to actually have him trying to push off of the ground in an upward motion with his legs. That's going to create energy going up through his body, back down through the club and into the shaft of the club. And then he'll be hitting with more force, able to release down. So I'll, I'll get more in detail on that with you uh, through Twitter. But those are the three things. First, I want him doing some exercises where he's just kind of working separation of the upper and lower body. Second, I want him doing some drills with or without a golf ball. Some could just be with a med ball, uh, separating the upper and lower body, working on turn. This is a good one just at the gym, just turning, just turning the upper body without the lower body. And then one where he's just turning the lower body without the upper body. I think that would be interesting to see him do that one to see if he can separate uh, differential between the upper and lower body. And then the third thing is, is don't try to get him to stay down. Try to get him to hit shots that make him feel like he's hitting it so hard that he goes up on his toes. Uh, don't worry about the whole keep your head down or staying down or if he's coming off. Let him learn right now what needs to happen to get that force. So you can actually look on YouTube. There's a really good video, uh, Lexi Thompson, the kinematic sequence and it will show how to use the ground and the force from the ground up and how that generates back down through the club. So, Damien, if you have any questions, you can ask me right now, but uh, hopefully that helps, and uh, I'll definitely keep in touch. But thanks for watching.